So a decap. June the 15th, halfway through the month, we're doing good. Um, don't ask for your, your, don't ask your employer, <laughs> googly eyes, uh, why you are not promoted. Ask the person who really knows best yourself. The answer lies within. Dum, 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 dum. There is only one person who is in charge of your career progression, and that person is you. Lee Iacocca, we all know him. Uh, Chrysler, right, and I think Ford before that, is said to have written his entire career plan on the back of a business card. Okay. On it were the promotions he expected to earn and the dates he expected to receive them, specific and in writing. We definitely covered that before. Make your goals specific and make them and put them in writing. Um, expected to receive them until he was named CEO of the company. Successful people know that they must create their own opportunities and be ready for them when they arrive. Some organizations have clearly defined career paths, while others are more informal in their approach. But if you study the senior people in the company, you can quickly identify the kind of education and experience you need to advance. If you are with the right company, one that excites and enthuses you, identify the career moves you'd like to make and get to work making yourself qualified for the job you want. So... Once again, he's in the corporate world where uh, I, and I assume most others watching these videos, are desperately trying to escape. Uh, that's fine. You know, some of the people watching the videos might be in that corporate world, and they might be in the corporate world by choice. So there you go. There's a plan for you. Um, and for entrepreneurs, the, the thing is emulate, right? Emulate means find somebody doing what you want to do. If that's an entrepreneur, a real estate investor, whatever. Um, if you're an agent and want to be a broker, then it's your broker. But find somebody doing what you want to do and emulate. is a $10 word for copy them. Uh, absorb what they do. Watch, study them. See, see, ask them questions. How did you learn this? Where did you learn that? When did you learn that? You know, um, you know, where'd you go to get that information? Uh, you know, what what did your first deal look like? How'd you find it? How'd you fund it? You know, how'd you have the knowledge to do it? Things like that. Like, pick their brain. Use them to take them to lunch. You know, everybody's down for a free lunch. Tacos, right? Who doesn't like tacos? Take them for a couple slices of pizza, or some tacos, or barbecue, and just pick their brain. Just ask them lots of questions. And the idea being that when you're done with that meeting, with that lunch, or, or breakfast, or whatever, coffee, um, you know what you need to know to get started to follow the same path they did. Emulate, that's what it is. Emulation is a very powerful concept. Um, you know it's going to work because it worked for them as long as you have the same tools in place that they had. So that's one of the questions you ask, you know, what, how did you learn how to do that? If your first deal you ever did, how did you find it? How did you know it was a deal, right? So what you're doing is finding out what tools they possessed to be able to do what you want to do and then you're going to go get those tools right you're going to copy the path that they they chose and then logically you'll reach the level of success they did if you copy everything they did right and there's no harm in copying and and you'll, what you'll find what most people not all of course because you can't ever talk about all people and be correct but most of the successful people are more than willing to tell you tell you and others uh, how they did it some of them do it in seminars up in the front of a hotel, you know, for free or for a little bit of money. So um, that's a good course. Uh, books, books, tapes, vlogs, videos. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a wealth of information. You'll find most people are, are more than happy to tell you um, how they became successful. And just, you know, follow their lead. It's very simple. So that's it. I won't do any... Uh, <laughs> dating updates or anything like that except to say I'm having fun uh, everything is awesome but it's getting old pretty quick like so sometimes in life and this is the, the, only, the only reason I'm talking about this is because it's kind of a little bit of a life lesson sometimes what you think you want in life is not what you want so in the last few days having juggling multiple uh, social appointments it didn't make me as happy as, as I thought it would. I, I, I mean, on the one hand, yeah, I, I mentioned a 22-year-old girl and all that stuff. I mean, that's amazing. It's fantastic. I'm an old fart, and she's beautiful and young, so that's, that's awesome. But 
I, I've known from the beginning, and I assume she knows, she should know, that it's not going to be a long-term thing, right? So, and then, you know, there's a couple that, that have some potential to grow long-term, and what I'm finding is, is the time I'm spending with the 22-year-old while it's fun is hurting the other two that have potential to be more longer term. And, and I, what I'm finding is I'm a, I'm, I'm a one-woman guy. I'm not a playboy. I'm not a hustler. It, it's, it's too much work for me, if that makes sense. And I know you don't understand because if you're single or you're alone, you're like, what are you, crazy? Man, oh, gee, oh, I'd love to date three women. You say that until you do it. And then, once again, just practical logistics, you know, it, it, it you know forces a sense of urgency and it you have to be here at a certain time and then you got to be here and then this one's wondering where you are and what you're doing and why aren't you answering her text because you're with the other one and it, it it's not as good as it seems in your head when you actually do it um, as I'm doing this video two of them just texted me right because I texted good morning about 10 15 minutes ago so it it's more work than you think and and yeah I'm right now I'm willing to do the work, but just just understand that sometimes a fantasy is just a fantasy. You know, you start doing it, and it's like uh, this is this is not fun. This, you know, the, when I'm with them, it's fun, but everything that goes on around that is is getting to be not fun. So sooner or later, I'll I'll pick one and settle down, um, just because it's just it's easier. There's a third one. Okay, we're three we're three for three as I'm making this. Um, Line, Line app, which is in Southeast Asia I talked about before, it has this annoying habit of popping up while you're doing a video. I'm making a video and, and the notifications come up over top of the screen. And that was an issue last night because I took the third, number three out, right, girl out. We were out having ramen noodles and, and gyoza, Japanese place, and I'm showing her a video of me playing uh, with Afterburner, my old band. And as she's watching the video, the notifications are coming up from the girl down in Lampang, right, the 38-year-old. And they're in Thai, but obviously this girl breeds Thai. So she's seeing notifications, you know, how are you, did you have dinner yet, blah, 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 from the Lampang girl while I'm on a date with her. Just, like I said, complications. You know, there's that, you know, there is that. Just just putting that out there. For the, I'm not going to do a separate video or anything on dating. Just, just with my personal situation, um... It, it's getting to be where it's, it's work. And, and at the end of the day, I'm a one-woman guy. I really am. I'm enjoying, you know, having the experiences and, and you know, doing different stuff here in Thailand. But the, I can't sustain this. <laughs> I really can't. It's just, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. It's, it's short-term happiness, but not long-term happiness. So I can, I can sprint, even with my giant 260-pound, 6-foot-1 frame. I can sprint, but I, I'm no good at marathons at this point, right? I need... I need slow and steady. I need just to find somebody to hold my hand and walk in the park. And I, oh, isn't that mushy and sad and romantic? Whatever. But it's it's reality for me. You might be different. Your mileage may vary, like everything else I talk about on here. But for me, I just need to find one good quality girl and just settle down. That's that's what makes me happy. And and I'm glad I I did this little run. And it's not over yet because I have to find the one. But um, you know, I I have enjoyed dating. A number of, of women it's it's been fun it's been an experience I I'm glad I did it I didn't make a mistake there but what it's focusing for me what it's showing me is that you know I'm happier on, a, on another path and that's just the one I'll I'll keep dating uh, casually hopefully one or maybe two at a time tops because um, it is hard to juggle like I said and then you know eventually I'll find somebody that I feel strongly enough towards that I don't want to be with anybody else. That's, I think that's what we're all looking for, really. But that's definitely where I'm at now. Just want to find a really good woman with a warm heart and, um, you know, just being a one-on-one -on -one and, and not be in the dating pool anymore. Um, it's kind of like interviewing for a job, you know, every time you date on a first date. Like, you know, just like selling yourself. And I, I'm not interested in that anymore. You know what I mean? So... That's it. Like I said, I didn't really even want to do a dating update, but that's where I'm coming to the realization that that's where I'm going to be at. So, um, had the date last night with the salon lady, had the day yesterday afternoon with the Lam Peng lady, and the 22 um, year olds coming over tonight and staying the night. So, it, it's great. It's awesome. Don't, I'm going to have a blast tonight, don't get me wrong, but just it's too much of a good thing. If you eat steak and lobster every single night, you'll get sick of it. 
It is what it is. Over and out, kiddies. We'll talk tomorrow.